I'll play like five hours of a game that's not Monster Hunter and be like, yo, this is kind of cool, refreshing. And then like, it'll settle in. And I'm like, oh, but it's not Monster Hunter. And then I just go back to Monster Hunter again. There's no iframes. I can't make armor sets. Oh, bummer. My wallet's a lot happier, Ice-T, although this game is doing its darndest to make sure that's not the case. Alright, inflict a status ailment, gather drop materials, set up hunting installations, repel using weapons to a monster. Sweet. That's a pretty good start starting lineup. Do you think you could describe exactly what you like about Monster Hunter and not the literal things either, but the values behind them? A game that rewards practice and focus and actual like skill that develops over time. A game that has lots of details and systems to learn and maybe not necessarily master, but sink, sink time into figuring out. A game that's cheery and fun to a certain extent and has a lighthearted tone even if it has some challenging aspects to it. And of course the most important part of a game that you can play on a handheld system. I think that's what I would say, Marts, is those ones. use the details of self them in the world and the creatures themselves. I mean, that's a huge boon to me too, but I don't think it's like, while I love the creatures in this world and I love the environment, like the actual world that I'm, that I'm in, I don't know if that's like the thing that I play the games for. For me, that's part of this world's tone and cheery feeling and like just a kind of wonderful feeling to be in, right? If this game was, let's say, a super doom and gloom, medieval, Lovecraftian horror game, I probably wouldn't be as into it. I'm glad you got into it, Lost No Frost. It's always good to have more folks in the Monster Hunter. Man, I still encounter the repel using a weapon. <laughs> Bummer. 
That's right, out of here. Turn around. No, god darn it. I don't know what my first monster into related memory is. Yeah, I truly think that, like, over the course of the series, there are some aspects of the combat in this series that are completely unrivaled by any game in the games industry. Truly. Like, that is essentially at its core what I'm here for the most, is the combat. It's so fulfilling, it's so varied. There's so much to practice and learn and do. I love that the most. And then there's lots of other things I really enjoy about the series, too. Was Try a birthday gift or something? I have no recollection of how I how I obtained Try as a kid. I don't know if it was something where like we went to GameStop and I traded in some other games for it or something. Or I, I don't even know. I really don't. All right, let's revise our lay, our layout here. We put a defend or something in here. That's awesome, fish. I'm jealous of that. Definitely jealous of that kind of experience. It sounds tough, Morg. Having Free Me Night be your first exposure. No, I missed. Yeah, I'm, I'm attacking the monsters without a counter sleep up because I'm trying to get status ailments. Luckily the cats are helping too. So close to being done with stun a monster.
He's gonna hit us. Yep. Um, if I'm not reading all of the chat messages aloud, I'm sorry. I'm trying hard to <laughs> focus this rampage and do better than last time. Is this wave over? No, not yet. But it is neat getting to glance over and read you guys' stories. It is brave going back to the older games from the newer games. New skill sets to learn, but lots of new things to experience and lots of fun to be had. No! <laughs> Pretty decent first round. Or is that the second round? That's the second round. Okay, we need to go back to the backfield. Whew. I think if Capcom advertised the older titles more, I think people would get, would find and buy and play them. I don't think so. I mean, some people would, certainly. I think whenever we bring up the topic of like remasters or re-releases, I think that there's a pretty big limit in terms of how far people are gonna go to play old Monster Hunter. Don't forget to sharpen. Thank you. I'll need to. For a lot of folks, it's like, oh, I have to, I have to stand still while healing? Deal breaker. There are loading screens? Deal breaker. Something like that. I think once someone really gets into Monster Hunter, whether it's Rise or World or whatever, I think that's where you'll, you'll start to see folks be like, yeah, I'm interested in going back. I've done everything there is to do in these new games. What can I do in the old games? All right, at this point, we should just be using our weapon. That's pretty much it. I mean, there was a pretty vocal large group of people who were like, this game sucks because this game's on the Switch and it looks like, like butt or something, but that's just not the case. This game looks so nice for this hardware and it looks nice in general. It's just got good art style. I wish there was a better way to play them, but doubles. Alright, stay assailment's done. Just gotta keep repelling things with our weapon. That feels so satisfying. Jane. This one's going a lot better than the last time. 
Yep, I wish they optimized certain areas of the game a little better, Lost No Frost. I have that issue too, because I do care about the consistency of the frames. And they're just not always. Aw. Oh, didn't get to repel that with my weapon. That's okay. Can I hit him when he's up in the air, I wonder? Let's find out. Nope. <laughs> nope, you sure can't. What a waste. Oh, he just totally toasted that gate. Whoops. Yep, I think that's pretty fair, Badobbles. That's something a lot of people don't take into account when emulating or, 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 or wanting a port for some of those games is like, I don't know, a lot of this art just isn't going to hold up at high resolution or high poly count because, I mean, like, the, the textures or the polygons of the models just aren't made for it. Please hit! Thank you! No! Rathalos! No! Rathalos! counter signal right now. Oh, and I got rid of the gong like a dummy. Alright, let's just keep fighting. We'll be okay. I need to play a song. Ah, and heal. That weapon clear. <laughs> Rathalos. Sir Spork, thank you for the follow. Oh, this is tough. I just want the weapon the weapon repel, but the Rathalos is so annoying. You're so annoying. Stop attacking my gate. Cut it out. I wonder if the second hit of that was counter signal boosted or not. I did two of those. Gosh darn it, man. I gotta be careful on my triple.
Bummer, they didn't hit. Nice job, cats. Here's the KO. Job, cats. Jang here now, huh? Oh. No, I don't want to ride it. I want to repel it with my weapon. I think it counted that time, maybe? God, this game is nuts. that doesn't take down the gate. We're really close. Nice. Pulling an apex with the mount gets the shinies to drop. Ah, uh, yeah. I should have done that, but I was worried about getting that Mizu. If another one pops up, I'll use it sushi to do that. Much better than the first one. Apex, Rathalos, Solo. Should be an S plus, I think. Release Apex, Rathalos, and a Rampage Solo. Oh, there was a shiny over there. Hopefully there's not like three. If there were three shinies, I'd be really sad. I think it's just the one. That felt close. 
being able to repel that Rajang and Mizutsune was a big deal. Alright, good night, Crystal. Thank you for sharing about, I don't know, how you got into the story. Or how you got into the games and how you feel about Monster Hunter. Shiny still count after the quest is over? No, really. Really? I didn't know that. You're right, they do. I should have gone back through the rest of the map and found some more if I could. Still, S+, plus, not bad. Ooh, hey, don't mind if I do. Thank you, Anjanoth Plate, Rathalos Plate, Wrath Ruby. I'll take those. Gladly. <laughs> Look at me just slamming him with the horn. 